let's make a command where we can search the official MDN documentation within our Discord bot. For example, I could do forward slash MDN, and then here I can search for something related to JavaScript, for example, an array. And if I run this, it's going to search the official MDN documentation and return back the top three results, as well as a link to more results. And this is actually a fairly simple command to make. The first step will be our index file, which is where everything is set up. I'm assuming you already have your own index file, so go ahead and use the YouTube player to skip to the next section. But if not, this is how I set up mine. If you're using JavaScript, you want to import things like this. And if you're using TypeScript, you want to import things like this. Afterwards, I've created my own client. And then whenever the client is ready, I'm going to initialize the one-off keys commands command handler. Of course, if you're using a different command handler, you would set that up here. One important thing is that here I'm specifying different test servers. That way we can create guild based slash commands and not global slash commands, which might take up to an hour to register. But guild based slash commands are instant. So I'm going to specify my testing guild right here. Now, moving on to the actual command file itself, which I've named mdn.ts. And of course, if you're using JavaScript, you want to name your files.js instead. But I'm using TypeScript, so I use.ts. Now the first step is to import everything you need. Within JavaScript, we simply just have to import Axios right here. And within TypeScript, we also have to import Axios, but we also need to import message embed and I command from Discord.js and one of keys commands respectively. These are different typings that we can use to specify what type of objects we're gonna have. Now, if you don't have Axios, you can go to terminal, new terminal, and within here, run npm install Axios. Now, after we've imported everything, we need to export an empty object. And this empty object is going to contain all the information about our commands. If you're using JavaScript, you will use module.exports equals an empty object. But if you're using TypeScript, you would say export default empty object. And then we would specify as I command right here. Now, the next steps are going to work no matter if you're using TypeScript or JavaScript. And here we want to specify the category as well as the description. You can enter whatever you want for these fields. Afterwards, we're going to specify if this should be a slash command or a legacy command. A legacy command is where you have a prefix beforehand, such as an exclamation point or a question mark. And a slash command is a built-in command into Discord. Within one of keys commands, we can specify both. And this will create both a legacy and a slash command. And here I'm specifying test only as true. Earlier, I mentioned that global slash commands might take up to an hour to register. But if I specify test only as true right here, then this slash command will only be created within our test servers right here, which is an instant registration compared to the one hour long wait we might have when it comes to global slash commands. And then here I have guild only as true, so this cannot be run within direct messages, so it's up to you if you want to include that. Next, I'm gonna specify the minimum number of arguments and also the expected arguments. So here we want at least one argument to be passed in, and then we also have a search query as the only argument we want. Afterwards, I'm going to have a asynchronous callback function, and this function will be invoked every single time a user actually runs the MDN command. We're passed in an object as an argument here that has a number of different things attached to it, but the only thing we're interested in is the text, which will be the entire string that the user passed in, in this case, the entire search query. Next, we're going to get the base of the API URL. In this case, it is https developer.mozilla.org, and then we're going to add on to the base API forward slash v1, forward slash search. And then here we have a queue, which stands for query. And here we can pass in the actual text that we want, but we're going to encode the URI component. So spaces or other characters that aren't normally supported within URLs are then translated into something that is supported. And then here we're specifying that the language should be English. And now that we have this, we're going to use Axios to pass in the URI, and we're going to get access to data.documents, which is going to give us access to all the results. We then want to see if the documents actually exist, because if we enter random spam as a search query where it can't actually find anything, then it won't return any documents. And in that case, we want to return saying could not find that documentation. But of course, within this if statement right here, we are going to return with the correct embed to show the actual results. So here we're going to create that embed, and then we are going to set an author where the name is MDN documentation, and the icon URL is going to be the icon for MDN. A link to this URL can be found in the description down below, so you can easily copy and paste it. But of course, you can use your own icon URL if you want. Then I'm going to set a hex color of 2296F3. Of course, you can use whatever color you want as well. And then I'm going to create a variable using let, because I plan on changing this, called truncated. And this is going to be if there are too many results to display. By default, this will be false. 
But if the document's length is greater than three, then I want to set the document's length to the maximum of three, basically removing every other element past the third and then setting truncated to true. I'm then gonna create a for loop that is going to loop through every single document. We're going to get the MDN underscore URL, the title and the summary for each element. This will be the link to the actual document, the title of it, and also a brief description of each document. Now the text that we get is going to have some new line characters, but we don't actually want those. So we're gonna replace them using the string of regex. And similar to the avatar URL, you can find this regex in the description so you can easily copy and paste it. Next, we're going to add on a field that has the title of the actual element and then a summary right here, followed by a new line right here, and then a link to the actual element right here. We're going to create this link by appending in the base and the MDN URL, which is the property that we destructured from each document right here. And this base variable is going to come from right up here, developer.mozilla.org. So combining these two is gonna create a clickable link and that will then direct the user to more information on the MDN website. Then I'm going to see if truncated is true, basically meaning that we had more than three elements. And if so, I'm gonna add in another field saying too many results. To view all the results, click here. And this is basically just going to link the user to developer.mozilla.org and the exact search results page from the exact text that the user entered. So if there are too many things, then we want to link them to the entire search results. That way they can view more things if they don't have what they want. And then finally, we're looking to return the embed after it was all created. And this is how we're going to make an MDN command. Again, I can go back into Discord and let's say I search MDN for of. Here we see the for of loop with a link to it. And this obviously links directly to the for of page, but then we also see too many results. I can click here and this will be a search for the word for space of. Want to improve your Discord bot even further? Click here to check out my other Discord tutorials.